So I have today awesome foundations if you have like me oily skin. I live in Florida so it's hot and humid. I want something lightweight and I don't want to cover up too much. It just feels heavy on the skin. So it should be lightweight and an SPF is awesome. And I'm going to share with you my top five favorite foundations for summer. And I have a little shout out. Look at this pretty necklace. I won it in a giveaway from Swoozy. And I want all you ladies, if you are not already subscribed to her channel, hop on her channel. She does great hauls and she's like me, a smart shopper. She goes to TJ Maxx and those stores. I love them. And she knows a lot about skincare. I really adore her channel so please hop on the link I have below and check out her channel. Swoozy, thank you for the necklace. I love it. It's gorgeous. Oh and another thing, check out the eyeshadow I have on and do you see that glow I have going on on my cheeks? City Color sent me their Timeless Beauty Palette and I have to say it is gorgeous. This is a palette with four matte blushes and three highlighters, but they're very unique because they are more suited for tan to darker skin because they have problems with normal highlighters. They look chalky on tan skin. And I have a little bit of a tan going on right now. So these colors work much better. This is an awesome gold. But you know what? I'm using this palette as an eyeshadow palette. And it is fabulous. Like the orange in my crease is this beautiful blush here. This is a beautiful crease color as well. And all the three highlighters work genius on my eyelids. And I have a complete review and swatches up on my blog. I have the link up there. You can check out this beautiful, beautiful palette. Thank you so much, Titi Color, for sending me that. Now off to my favorite picks foundations for summer. I have actually something in every price class so you should be able to snag one. One of my all-time favorites for summer is the Tarte BB Cream. It has included an SPF of 30 and it has a light to medium coverage, feels super lightweight on the skin and there isn't primer included. So this works really, really great for oily skin. It stays pretty matte for a long time. No need for a setting powder. I really love it. It fits so lightweight, but still gives me a little bit of a coverage. It retails for $36. And very old time favorite is the Ulta Double Duty Foundation. It's oil free and it has a delicious scent to it, like marzipan. And it gives me a medium, pretty good coverage. In fact, I have it on right now on my face. It costs only $12.50, but Ulta stuff is very often on sale. This is made in Italy. The only thing I wish there would be SPF included, but when I check the ingredients, it says titanium dioxide, which is actually a mineral sunscreen. So I reached out to Ulta and asked if this contains SPF, but I have never gotten an answer to that. So I still recommend this highly. This is a great drugstore, cruelty-free foundation for oily skin. It works beautiful and gives a super matte finish. The next one I have to mention is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Has also an SPF of 30, which is so important, and has a really nice light to medium consistency, but you can build it up if you need a little bit more. And stays really matte. It feels so lightweight as if you have nothing on your skin. So I can recommend this product, but it is a little pricier. It retails for $44. 
And then I recently discovered the Urban Decay One and Done. I was first assuming this might not work for oily skin because somehow the packaging looks so glowy and then it contains the word hybrid which made me assume this is not gonna work for oily skin. So I had a sample before I bought the full size and was super surprised. This is actually really good for oily skin. It goes on mud. It contains an SPF of 20 but here's the downside. There is not much coverage with this product so this really works only on days where you don't need much coverage. Your skin looks already pretty good and it has only a light skin tint to it. But another point I noticed it is kind of diffusing, blurring my lines on my forehead. So I really like to use this on weekends where I don't go to the beach or pool because this is not waterproof and where I just want to have a little bit of a skin tint. You know, it is not for days when you have breakouts or serious redness going on. It won't cover that. But it feels just so lightweight all day long. So I enjoyed it and bought the full size. And the last foundation I wanna mention is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Although I don't think this is necessarily for oily girls because it is very glowy. I think dry skin really profits from it as well. But I find in summer it's okay to be a little bit more shiny and glowy and this contains an SPF of 50 which is just great. So I just love the coverage, which, which is a really good medium coverage. So if I don't feel confident, this stuff really gives me the best coverage of all of those. And I still like to use it, even though I find I tend to look a little bit shiny. You could top it off with a tiny little bit of a setting powder like the Laura Mercier to make it more mud if you like to but like I said in summer I feel like there is not really a need to and it's not getting too shiny and oily. There you go those were my five favorite picks for summer. Let me know if you are an oily or two combination skin girl what is your pick for summer what do you love? I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you like, you can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, or I'm on Snapchat. And yeah, maybe I see you there. Bye ladies, auf Wiedersehen.